What is the secret of the golden flower? Hi, I'm Alan Gordon, creator of the Cycle of Mind system and the School of Ancient Wisdom. And in this video, I'd like to introduce you to a book that maybe you've never heard of. But in my opinion, this book is one of the most important pieces, if not the most important piece of ancient wisdom that has survived to modern times. The Secret of the Golden Flower was written about 1,200 years ago in China. And this was at the peak of the Tang Dynasty, which represented a high point of Chinese philosophy, education, and culture. This book really does represent the greatest wisdom of ancient China. But the wisdom in this book goes back thousands and thousands of years before that time. And unlike most Chinese texts, the secret of the golden flower also includes Indian Vedic wisdom, Egyptian Hermetic wisdom, Kabbalistic wisdom. It really is a pulling together of all the greatest wisdom of the past condensed and concentrated into one very powerful book. And we're very fortunate because the book comes to us from ancient times and it survives completely intact. There is no doubt of its authenticity. We know who wrote the book. You can read it today in the original Chinese. In 1929, it was translated into German by a man who had spent more than 20 years in China, and he was given this book by his teacher. Two years later, in 1931, that German version was translated again into English. Then, in 1991, another scholar, who wasn't happy with the earlier translation, went back to the original Chinese and translated the book directly into English. So the text is authentic, and there are at least two professional translations that exist today. So what is The Secret of the Golden Flower about? What's this little book about? Well, it's an instruction manual, direct from the ancient past, that is a detailed instruction manual on how to meditate. But it's much more than that. It doesn't just tell you how to meditate. It describes a detailed inner journey from your outer awareness to the very highest levels of your inner consciousness. Now, what I'm about to say is not a translation. It's more of an interpretation, okay? The book describes us as both an outer being, aware of ourselves in this world, and an inner being, aware of ourselves at higher levels. The secret of the golden flower, which is, as I said, the culmination of Chinese wisdom, Indian Vedic wisdom, Egyptian Hermetic wisdom, Kabbalistic wisdom, it describes us as celestial beings of light. And it explains through a series of meditative exercises how you can transfer your awareness from your outer self to your inner self, how to become aware of the light within you through a series of exercises. And once you become aware of the light inside you, it gives you specific instructions on how to move the light around and then how to rise your consciousness from your lower self to your higher self. The only way to explain this is if you understand how a prism works, right? When, when light travels through space, it travels at a certain speed. But when it reaches the prism, which is nothing more than a piece of glass on an angle, right? The light divides itself into the seven colors of the rainbow. In other words, the white light really contains seven different wavelengths within it. And when it hits the glass at just the right angle, it separates into the seven colors that we learned about in school. Roy G. Biv, right? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. I hope they still teach this in school. I'm actually very concerned about what we're teaching our children, but that really is an entirely different topic. Now, in the same way that light refracts through a prism and divides itself, when the light of your being hits our reality, it divides itself into seven components. And this is your spinal chakra system. So from Indian Vedic tradition, your root chakra is red. Your sacral chakra is orange. Solar plexus chakra is yellow. Your heart chakra is green. Your throat chakra is blue. Your third eye chakra is indigo. And your crown chakra is violet. You are a projection of light. And the secret of the golden flower teaches you through a series of meditation exercises how to find the light within you, learn how to move it around and play with it, and then move your awareness upward towards your origin as a celestial being of light. 
Now, maybe you already knew that you're a celestial being of light, but maybe you've never heard of the secret of the golden flower, in which case you will be even more interested in this book because it describes a series of meditative exercises that will literally raise your consciousness to a higher level a consciousness of light, and you'll be able to see yourself almost like you're looking down on yourself, so to speak, as a projection of light that you really are. Now, the book is no more than 50 pages, and it takes less than an hour to read through. But the problem with reading the book, the problem with reading these various translations, is that neither of the translators actually followed the instructions in the book. So their translations are just repeating the instructions, which is fine. That's what a translation is. It would be as if someone tried to explain to a child how to ride a bicycle by describing to the child what the bicycle is made of and the angle of curvature of the handlebars and the gear ratio of the sprocket. See, all of these facts about the bicycle are true, and the child may become an expert in bicycles, but he still doesn't know how to ride the bicycle. Or more importantly, the child still doesn't know the feeling of freedom that comes from riding the bicycle. See, the book itself is just an instruction manual. You need to bring it to life. You can't experience the raising of your consciousness by reading a book, even not this book, which is, I think, just such an important book. So what I've done is I've created a series of guided meditations which will walk you through the various steps that are described in The Secret of the Golden Flower, and I share them with you as best that I can understand them. These guided meditations are going to get you started toward the concepts and the experiences that are described in the book. And at that point, once you've moved through these meditations, many of you may want to go directly to the book and study it to deepen your own understanding. But for most people, honestly, just starting along this path will greatly expand your self-awareness. Now, even if you never experience what they call the light that surpasses all light, just by sitting in contemplation of your higher being, contemplating the truth of this wisdom, you will be changed. And here's what's going to happen. After a few weeks, and for some of you, maybe only a few days, when you consistently meditate for a while, you will start to notice during the day, not while you're meditating, but just during the day, a higher sense of stillness emerges within you. And this changes how you approach situations. One of my first experiences like this is I was making a phone call. And while the phone was ringing and I was waiting for the person on the other end to answer, I sensed in myself a higher awareness. And I conducted the phone call in a different way with a different mindset than I would have if I had not had that feeling of expanded consciousness. So even if you never see the light inside you, even if that never happens for you, the benefits of these guided meditations will still manifest in your life in many other ways. And you'll see this for yourself. These guided meditations are awesome, but you always have to keep in mind that meditation and consciousness are only one part of your development. You have to develop a well-rounded lifestyle that includes all of these elements of expanding your self-awareness. You've got to develop mental skills and establish for yourself a moral compass. This is where you'll use and practice the cycle of mind thought matrix exercises because the thoughts you hold in your mind are constantly creating your reality. You've got to develop your health and your energy. This is going to allow you to maximize the enjoyment and the control you have over your physical body while you're in this reality. This is where you're going to practice the spinal stretch and the chakra cleansing exercises and the deep breathing techniques. And you also have to develop new behaviors and actions that will allow you to flow more harmoniously in the world and develop deeper and more meaningful relationships with the people around you. So all of these aspects of life are very important. So with that introduction, I'll lead you to the first of the guided meditations where you will begin to develop the basic meditation skills that are laid out in The Secret of the Golden Flower. So I'll see you at the next video.